when we last left off, our intrepid heroes made their way out of the Emperor's personal dungeon and boarded their airship towards the City of Roses, Illyria, off on the coast of the Pergothian Duchy. However, on their way, their dreams were momentarily hijacked by Senatreya herself, who wanted to debrief them just a bit on what they saw in the dungeon, and make sure that there were no misunderstandings about where that potion of tremendous potential ought to go. She also, in the course of that conversation, uh, touched Ursula's mind a bit, unlocking some hidden memories and making the poor bear cry. She also had a bit of a talk with Koinu and Hashat, and Hashat uh, left in a huff, followed shortly by Koinu. Not terribly pleased with Senatreya's attitude towards her children. Upon waking, the party had a chance to talk with Saracena a bit before finally arriving in the Bunny City itself. The airship dock is, perhaps unsurprisingly, on the highest building in the city, which is the palace itself, where the party was able to disembark, but not before some keen eyes noticed that there is an Imperial ship docked in the harbor below. This unsurprisingly caused some consternation from Koino, and though given the chance to meet the uh, reigning princess of the city in her incredibly extra throne room, which I really just want to show off because I fucking love this map. It is, it's, it is very extra. Exactly what I was about to say. So, Poinu has run off uh, back to Pergoloth to dispense some information. I, I still met her, remember? We had yes. a flirt off and everything. Yes, you did. Yeah. I, was, I was just about to say. But not before uh, Koinu and Cass both decided that uh, they needed to make uh, things a little interesting with the bunny princess around, uh, much to Siggy's chagrin. And they have deemed, let the best man or woman win. Again, Siggy thinks you're both dweebs. Stay away from her. I mean, she's not wrong. Koinu is a huge dweeb. Indeed. Cass is my dweeb, though. Yes. And so is counting on you for wingman help. I did set promise I would do that. You did. And that is where we left off. You have had the opportunity to meet a Duna. Uh, as well as uh, a few members of her inner court. And then the party has broken off with the promise that they will return this evening for dinner not just with Aduna, but with the other dignitaries of import in the city, which almost certainly means this hobgoblin ship. For upon it, through the spyglass, you saw that there were some members of the Royal Guard aboard, which can only mean important people. And that is where we left off. Koinu had run off back to Pergolith, I believe. Uh, but what so will what yours... the rest of you do? So what you're saying is that Koinu will uh, recruit some fucking uh, Section 1 uh, druids that will sink a ship. Out in the sea. That's up to Koinu. I feel like if I decide to have them do um, espionage, uh, I'm not telling you guys either because that's much more fun. I didn't say espionage. I said sink a ship, out, a dignitary ship, out in the ocean. 
That's espionage. <laughs> You're in the middle of a royal meeting. <laughs> it's espionage and sabotage and terrorism. Just section one things. Yeah. Just spy stuff, you know. It's just that's on my belt. Actually, it does say espionage, sabotage, terrorism. Indeed. For them, it was a horrible tragedy that befell upon their kingdom. For section one, it was Tuesday. But no, we should find our way down, as I remembered. Yeah, so how does Ursula feel about magic elevators? Really just a solid disk of stone that goes up and down on command. She read, no she's uh, written. She's written on them before, without issue. Alright, good. Then yeah, you can indeed take an elevator all the way down. Which is a good thing that they have one, because this tower is like 100 feet high. At least. Yeah, it's a solid structure. That's not the problem. The problem is flying. I mean, you are by a certain definition flying on this slab, but yes, you can, you can go down without any issue. This is the largest tower I've ever seen. One of the guards will nod. That... It's the tallest tower in the Eastern Kingdoms. Must have taken quite a lot to construct. I imagine so, but it's been here for, oh, hundreds of years. Everything else was of... here before, before the city was occupied the first time. I don't know if it was here before the city was occupied, but it certainly was here before we have any written history. The whole town sort of popped up around it. But the architectures, hmm. well, at least everyone theorizes Hillier made it. Hmm. She will sort of oh. step aside and point to some engravings in the walls which depict, like, rabbits sprinkling around. Yay, bunnies. I'm going to try and make a history check. Sure. What about? Uh, about this, about the city. Yeah, like, it, like, how long, like, has, are there, have I heard, ever heard anything about this, like, this, this tower being here for, like, ages? Just, just be, just existing for ages before people even show, or even around? Sure, you can roll out. It was just. Woo. Oh! Alright, yeah. Uh, it turns out, uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, Hashat has looked into Illyrian history before. For what is the next best thing to an elf and a bunny girl? I mean, true. Fair. So yes, Illyria was, uh, or I suppose is, again, a very old realm. No one's quite sure when it was founded, but it seems to be more or less prehistoric, but it's been occupied on and off by Talir, Minotaurs, and other people over the centuries. Uh, for almost a hundred years it was occupied predominantly by Minotaurs during the Hobgoblin Wars, but the Talir were there before and have come back since. You know full well that the city itself was built around this tower, uh, or rather, these towers, these five large structures that well, sort that of is... act as cardinal points around it. Uh, you're not sure who made it, and no one really is. It could have been Talir, after all. They're a very long-lived and ancient people. According to Saracena, they were made by her and her siblings. Emma, I just look at this stuff and what they're talking about in this tower and just go to a shop. Do you have any sort of, like, sense or magic power stuff? Uh... What do you mean? Well, the players are made by Earth, by Saracena, which is a lot of Earth magic power, and they're tied to 
Earth's magic and power. I don't think they're elementally aligned like I am. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Seracina said that she couldn't smell her brood here, so I don't think so. Seracina, standing just a couple feet away from you, will lean in and say, That's not quite what I said. I said I couldn't smell their essence in the air. Oh. Which is unusual for uh, one of mine. Either they haven't... Uh, made love in quite a long time, or else they've all dried up. Or just aren't here at all. Although, this discussion does make me think something. A possible lead. Mm -hmm. This place was yep. occupied by minotaurs during the, the hobgoblins' reign here. It's possible that uh one of them what one someone at uh, one of their descendants in the city was is the one i'm looking for. the knight will lean in who are you looking for exactly i am looking for a i'm trying to track down a bloodline a lineage well there's a lot of them in the city but I'm sure we can help you find them. Do you know... It's from quite, yeah. it is from you... quite a long time ago, but... Do you know anyone that happens to do, like, earth magic? They might not necessarily have that ability, but... Who knows? Worth asking. Could you define earth magic for me exactly? Uh... And she will sort of rattle her long sword in its sheath. Not much on spellcasting myself. Let's see. How do I describe this? How do I describe describe it? Well, and well, I suppose affinity and knowledge about the earth stone. And... I wouldn't say knowledge, but. I'm a so what you call I'm a sorcerer, so I get my power from. Well, look over at Saracena. I know what from... a sorcerer is, and there's a lot of them in the city. If you're trying to track down a wizard or something, uh, there's a big tower Maybe. out all across the bridge, the Sentinel Tower. That's where our mages gather. That might be a good place to look. Yeah. I don't know if they will have if this, whoever I'm looking for has magic. I'm looking for. Do you know someone what of the minute? Sorry. Do you know what they are? You know species. No. no. I was my the scrying I conducted pointed me only at the city. Hmm. Well. It, Sorry about that. The tower, which will gesture around, is pretty heavily warded. Uh, scrying magic doesn't much work around here. That might explain why, then. If I couldn't ah. get a better view, then perhaps it's because it was awarded. The place I was looking into was awarded, and so it only showed me the city. Well, wards, as far as I know, extend pretty far past the tower itself. It more or less covers the city. Hmm. Less, less helpful, then. Sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, Cersei, I have a question for you. Yes, dear? You can... You can sense the Earth and all that stuff. Correct. Yes. Into... Well, but not from here. I need to go outside to sense the earth itself. Right now we're yeah. on a floating piece of... Actually, I'm not sure this is even stone. I think this is wood covered in granite. You know, tap her foot and listen to it. Yes. Twitch. 
Anyway, you were saying sorry. When we get out on actual solid ground, can you do a check? Because all this to talk about this city has been here for nobody knows how long, blah, blah, blah. Be like, check what's for what? underneath? Like, check underneath the city because it's. If there was a super magical a city just sprung out of nowhere on a place that nobody knew when, where, and what, it's like, where would you put something super secret mm. underneath it? I follow what you're saying, dear, but I think you're taking the wrong message away from what the little knight's saying. Do you reach over and scritch a bunny ear, which makes the knight turn into a tomato? She's saying that the city's been here longer than anyone remembers. There is such a thing as prehistory for you people, after all. Yes. You. Yes, for you. No, I mean, you. You're literally prehistory. Yes, exactly. And I remember the city being here for quite some time. It wasn't quite exactly. as grand as this, but I do remember the tower. So yeah. it's pre-elf. So do you know who put it there? I mean, let me see. It's a very maybe some dragon. Maybe some dragon built it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, she dated the one who made this for a while. <laughs> Saracena will just give you a little smile and say. Now you're asking the right questions, dear. But I'll tell you when we get outside. I wouldn't want to ruin the mystery for the natives here. The knight will squeak. Well, wait a minute. You can't just say something like that. Oh, I can, she dear. Can. And I will. Oh, the bullying. But if you're a good girl, perhaps I'll tell your princess. I'm sure she'd be very interested to know, if she doesn't already. About this time, the elevator will boom, down onto the floor. There's a release of static energy in the air. Ursula, your hair rises slightly. Becomes poof, as does Cass's. And you're able to exunt. The grand foyer is every bit as magnificent as the throne at the top of the tower. And from down here, you see the sun's full effect blaring through the great stained glass windows, creating a cavalcade of colors and shapes dancing across the floor, which is, of course, perfectly polished mirror marble. The knight will content herself with a promise of telling the princess, at least, and give you all a crisp salute as you step out and enter the city proper, or at least the garden surrounding it, for the great tower is surrounded by a small but well-kept patch of land that has a few small townhouses, but is predominantly given over to large trees and great vine bushes, covered in, as you might expect, roses. Once you get outside, Saracena will stretch out her shoulders and Put a bare foot down into the grass and close her eyes. Hmm. Let's see the earth here. Hmm. Nothing unusual, so don't you have to worry about that. It's fairly solid, mostly sturdy rock. Bedrock not far below. There's a silver deposit. Ah, and beneath that, a small sea of blackest tar. Unfortunately, not very useful. Right, tar? Down there? Hmm, not literally tar. Don't worry about it. Oh, that stuff. Yeah. I think I know. I think there's you a bunch of that. 
Yes, when I use that circle in the sword grave, there's a, a bunch of that gunk uh, down in the in the igniferous area, Indeed. under the ground and in the mountain. There's quite a bit of it, not below the city, but a short ways out in the water. Or under the water, I should say. Ah, but you were asking who built the tower, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to make a guess, or shall I just tell you? Dragon? Mm, close. Very close, in fact. I'd say about halfway there. A half dragon. Look at you, putting small numbers together. What kind of half dragon? A red one? It would have been far enough back. It would have been about half a red dragon. Mm, it could have been, but think about where we are. No. Uh, was it one of uh, what's it? Uh, Lyris and mm. no, no, the other one. Uh, the, the the water. What's his name again? Tritonus. Yes. Yes, one of his oh, creations. Okay, yeah. yeah, right. Not his child, of course. <laughs> oh, is that uh. Tonan here? No, Tunan Kir is not his blood child, though I do believe he was created by my brother. An experiment, if you will. How big can we actually make something? Something that lives and breathes and thinks, but big. She throws Very her arms wide. Very big, apparently. Yes, extraordinarily big. Yeah, we did help. Oh, well, you know that. You, you can see Hashat's memories. Mm-hmm. And I'm very proud of you for helping him. He is a good boy. He was boy. a good guy. Ah, so. Half sea dragon, half what? Well, not fire, because if I remember correctly, they were talking about uh, fire dragons not creating so much. Mm, they are typically agents of destruction. They aren't particularly prone to building anything. More nomadic in nature. But no, I've already said it's half seed, right? I, I, considering the artistry, I would almost would think it was... A... Maybe an elf, or I guess it could have been a Talir, if they were around that, that far back. Mm. But can there be such a thing as a half-dragon, half-Talir? Mm, no. No. Right, you are. Half an elf, then? Mm. The architecture is remarkably reminiscent of elven structure, okay. I admit, but you're okay. not quite there. Hmm. Wait, I wait. I remember, like, um, what was those? Uh, a fairy dragon. She just she just makes the fucking spider, uh, spider shape with her with her uh, eyes. Like, uh, what was that name again? The language Lang. spiders. No, they too didn't create much. They inhabit other people's creation. They occupied this site for a time, I believe. Much to the detriment of the poor bunnies living here. Oh, okay. So, well, if it's a half-dragon of water, it could be a half-dragon of earth. <laughs> no, I'm afraid two halves do just make a hole. Okay, particularly what ugly part, would, hole, that make a mud, would that make a mud dragon? Uh, just mine. Slop dragon, it likes to get messy. Oh no. Yes, I'm oh, afraid. Man, I'm I'm happy to say this wasn't made by a swamp dragon. A swamp dragon. Uh oh, in, 
imagine a mud drag and they just sit there in this nice like mud pool there, like hot mud pool with Still minerals. Still always hear banjos though. By. Like a tank, bang, yeah. tank, bang, tank, bang. Maybe yeah, a but mineral bath. Huh? What about a sure call it what you okay. want, but they're just rolling around on dirt like a piggy. At least you can make the squeal like one. Fairy. Yeah. <laughs> You're close, Hisha, but not quite. Although the city is beautiful enough that I could easily attribute it to a fae. Hmm. You're very close. Mm. An elemental? No. And it goes to the dwarf. Damn it. Yes. A dragon of the sea it's bonded not... to an elemental had a great deal of connection to the plane of Earth. Hence why my children have settled here. Like they're drawn to the place, moths to a flame. But not just any old elemental, not some dour creature made of stone, no. This city, well, look at the size of it. What sort of creature inhabits buildings of this stature? Sort of creature. Yes. It was well, very giantish. And the dwarf gets it again. The oh. city's original founder, the man who built this tower, was half dragon, half giant. A stone giant, to be precise. Very handsome lad. Truly gifted in my blood. Blythe. Was their smell. <laughs> ah, but that was very it's early tough. in the history of this world. Long before writing exists. But if you know where to look, you can see the images in the stone. At least you used to be able to. She will glance up the sparkling white tower. Well, you might have to chip the paint off. Is there, like, some sort of earth connection going on here for you? Surprisingly enough, no. I... Yeah, that is surprising. Well, there would have to be two of them if there's water and earth. Hmm. No, this is just a conjoining point of particular fertility. That was chosen because of its beauty. She will gesture out towards the sea and then up towards the extremely fecund hills rolling towards the mountains. I'm afraid the tale of this city's founding is the most mundane of them all. It's just really fucking pretty. I mean, that doesn't really sound like a bad thing, or, like... It's not, but there's no deeper meaning, there's no sinister threat, there's no hidden agenda. As a man who wanted to build himself and his family a tower on the most beautiful location in all the world. Well, and he nice. sure picked it. Indeed. I do wonder if any of his descendants are still running around. Hmm. And I don't sense them. It's a shame. Well, we could uh, try to... Ah. Uh, you know... Hmm. You know... Ashat, you did mention that thing, right? Mm hmm that circle thing that you use to, like, try to find them? Yeah, in the sword grave. The... I'm not sure exactly what it is. The great big circle of power. And I used it to scry for things.
So yeah, that's like you said, we could feel like uh, everything. So if that has a tie to power and you know, like Seracina here needs some of it. Uh -huh. What do I need, sorry? Power? Not particularly. That's the nature of a god. You are relatively well off already. Really, I'm quite content. Oh. Well, right. that's good. Now, that, now I remember exactly what I wanted to ask you before. Go on. It's been like... You said you could feel all the metals, right? Yes. Can you feel where there's uh, the star metal? Star metal? Yeah, there's like, there's been several recorded of like, well, imp meteors and impacts and there's like ah. metal coming from that. Yes, I, hmm. Well, that's the thing about it. It's not a type of metal. It's just iron. And various other metals, often enough. But it doesn't feel any different for anything natural. So, if you point me at a crater, I could tell you if there's iron in it. But I couldn't just look at the mountains and say, Ah, there's a meteor crater this way. It would just feel like iron. Okay, fine, because, well, there's stories and, well, actually notes taken from, well, things made of that to be of, well, legendary qualities and having different oh, yes. properties than regular metals and steel. Yes, of course. Indeed, one of the very first weapons ever made was meteorite iron mashed down over a dragon's fang. I mean, quite the lance. Kandon was very pleased with himself. Frown. Hmm. Nothing. No, no, I don't just answer questions about the nature of the universe and history beyond your wildest dreams, and you go, nothing, pouty cow. Come on, out with it. Fucking art. <laughs> that just reminds me of the dream I had last night. I don't know why you're obsessing over that. There's nothing to be all down about. This just mm. Listen, I don't I want can't. you all acting like a big depressed lump on my account. I am happy and content. I may not have the full range of powers I once did. But I'm alive and healthy, and surrounded by, dare I say, friends, which is more oh. than I can say for most. So. It just, given that you have Hashat's memories, it just a wide <laughs> smile and finger guts. Does it mean that you're content? Uh. Uh. Here we are having a heart to talk. Heart to heart talk, and you bring the puns into it. That was pretty good, though. I'll give you that. Now, buck up a shot. There's no reason to be all down and dour. Come, we have a whole city to explore. Oh, uh, buck up! Seen. You could have gone with long face, double down on horse <laughs> pants. You could have, but why would she? But because clearly there were precedent was set just moments ago. Yeah, she will. Reach up and pat a shot's cheek. Come, we have a whole city to explore, and I haven't seen why much, much of any of this. Aside from the towers themselves, this is all new to me. So, 
Let's figure out where this Minothan descendant is and get on with it. Well, I suppose I uh, let's. I would. Ra I suppose I'd want like to take out this sort of Sentinel Tower first. And if there's a place where there's a bunch of knowledge all bundled together, it's going to be right over there. I don't phrase it like that. Tarn's likely to pop his. Uh... She will reach down and just slap Tarn's inner thigh. Cod piece right off. <clears throat> you bought the whole underwear, but you'll only need the edge. Let's go, then. Looks like there's a straight shot. But, oh, Cassidy. Oh, Cassidy. Goodbye. Look, I gotta get ready for this big old dinner, because you know Koinu's gonna use all of Section 1's resources to doll herself up. So I She wouldn't do embezzle... Her. Would she embezzle, like, her order's resources for a... For the, she, yes? she do that? That's so inappropriate. She's competing with me, Hashat. She's gotta cheat a little. She could just write it as a diplomatic expense. Yeah, of course. Meanwhile, being a wealthy nobleman, I'm just gonna drop my own fat stacks. So You are very wealthy, it's true. Mm-hmm. Not as rich as Siggy, though. Goddamn. Anyway, okay. see you later. Yeah, that's actually something I've been meaning to do with... Oh, I'll, I'll talk while we go there. Like, that's something I've been meaning to actually start... Mostly for, you know, like, future income. Well, the bar is, well, the demo will be all nice and stuff once it gets going. I think, you know, like investing into a, you know, like a potential lucrative business would be a good thing, right? Yes, money is good. So, given the fact that the entire Mine in Stormvale is now well perched, well, undead, and spooky ghosts, thanks to a lot of holy water. Plus, it's sanctified, uh, one part of it is sanctified with the temple. I think it's like if we, uh, you see, uh, if I can convince or put forth the the information and well since nobody owns it and it's closest thing would be well the higher veins. Figure a finder's fee as well as being one of them that helped with clearing it out and everything. I think a 5% cut of, of, uh, of the uh, production would be a suitable thing. So which mine is this exactly you're talking about? Oh, the one in, there's a mine in Stormvale, apparently rich. Ah, uh, that one, yes. Well, as long as you can pump it out, yes, some 5% is more than reasonable. It's, it's yeah. full of holy water now, though. Well, yes. good. Even better. You make it sound, you make it sound like that's a bad thing. If they pump it out, it does, it they can just store it and, you know, like, clean it up. It's still holy water. Mm. 
but the holy water has, well, shed it rate. It's probably discharged but, its power, especially if they were undead down there. There were ghosts. Then it's probably just become water by now, and all the ghosts are gone. Yeah. But either way, that's hardly the point. The point is, lucre and wealth down in the mines. And since there's no undead, and, yes. You can claim it. Exactly. There's also an old dwarven... Uh, I don't care, I fucking forgot the name of that thing. Uh, um, Temple of Kandarn? Now, the Temple of Kandarn was at the, at the top. The dwarven with the ghosty ghost... Oh, the Thane hole down there. Say. Yes. Ancient dwarven Thane hole with untouched items. So there's even more lucrative discoveries down there. Yeah, there are discoveries for someone else, though, I think. Yes, but they're, they're in the mine, at the bottom of the mine. That's where the ghosts were. So, not only is it an already available mine with Perfectly good shafts and everything. There's also a cleaned out ancient dwarven thane hold with available with untouched resources. So, like I said, I think my suggestion of a five percent is more than reasonable given the potential worth of it all. Plus, I have more than uh, enough uh, coin on me to actually uh, invest into, you know, like, draining it. There's pumping it out. It's not the hard part. It's just doing it. So I figured that would be like a, you know, a like constant source of uh, you know, income. And the better the, the better the mine does, the more, the more cash I get. But then that means I, it just takes a deep sigh, deep breath. And yes, I have to present this to Twitch. Colton. Might I suggest literally anybody else? I have to be other dwarven mining concerns somewhere. That's the whole point of you. But not many Ursula has an in with, and is conveniently located essentially the next in the next town over. Yes, that's the thing. That's they are perfectly available at that point. How dare you bring logic into this? Unfair. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it would have been nicer to have, like, stones on doing it. They do not have the resources or the manpower or anything for it. And the Iron Rains already have a very active, very good, and very professional uh, work crew. So, and it just slightly abashed it would also, you know, get more money for my son that you know, and he can do more of his stuff that he likes. Well, 
I suppose that makes sense, yes. Well, if you need to look up how property is traded these days, I'm sure Cassidy could inform you. He's landed nobility and all. Yeah, but uh, it's though in an area that is technically now unclaimed unless you count. No, actually, no, uh, what's it? I don't care. What's the fucking name? Uh, Dami Mommy uh, Ice Dragon. Sylvesta? Sylvesta. Sylvesta just claimed the outer region there, her own territory, not the southern. And other character, fucking Bernie McBurns. Uh, Geno Geno uh, and the Hobbies? Yeah. Yeah. Only claimed the mountain and the temple. So that's nobody owns or has claimed that mine now that one dead are gone. So there's no Evora doesn't cover it, Progolis doesn't cover it, the Hobgun and Empire doesn't cover it. I think it is nominally a ruin, but has never never really pressed it. Just went around. Siggy will nod. Yeah, that's the space between Anderlin and Pergola, so not really much there. And no one ever wanted to go settle there because of the storms, so pretty much no man's land. If anyone so was gonna none of claim the storms it, are... I'd say Duke Lucian probably has a better claim, but I doubt he'd press it. So if I can talk to uh Duke Lucian and I talk I talk to Cass, I talk to Lucian. Could I then just claim that? Sure. You want to be, uh, I guess, or less, uh, Ursula? Yursula. Yursula. Yep. Yursula, that sounds actually really nice. Well, well, yeah, I just checks her bank accounts like uh let's see there's two grand here it's 55 flat here i think that's enough was what enough sorry oh i got about the two and a half uh two thousand one hundred gold and uh like 55 black now you think that's enough for it? For what? Oh, well, buying or staking the claim? You don't need money to stake a claim, Ursula. You just got to go there and plant your flag. And talking to the Duke would be good, because, like I said, it seems like his family's from there, but aside from that, no one else is pressing it, so just move on in. Building a keep there'd be ideal, but there's at least two we saw, plus your family's thane hold. Well, and there's that half ruined city, so there's the structures were sound. It was just you just need to cut off the bad parts and work uh, build on that. As long as you don't mind your neighbor. Yes, that's one thing that I'm going to be very specific. At. Neighbors. You don't fuck with the woods. You stay the hell away from the woods. We didn't even explore like the, the ones in the south. I heard that there was sightings of something in there. Well, if it was undead, it's not alive anymore. I think he was a 
giant stag, white stag or something. Okay, that's cool. But mostly, like, the town and the area that is, because we're cut off by water, like the entire lake. Remember? Yeah. So, like, the only thing they really need to be be wary of is don't dissolve the don't dissolve the frozen Amazons on the river there. Don't attack the wolves. I can talk to like life there about that. Maybe you should and... just try and claim that town near the lake and. That would have the mine near it, but none of the woods or anything. Yes, but, you know, like, I need to tell, you have, you know, have to talk with life about that there will be more people there, and, you know, so that, you know, that people not, you know, harm the wolves, and the wolves won't, you know, attack people like that. Oh, so, sorry. You know, also, I'm not sure how much of the, uh, the town is left. It's probably it's... underwater. It certainly was when I, uh, flew over it. And, well... uh, oh. Uh, was already it's in a bad a way. Well, yeah, Probably the foundations be a lot are... collapsed. Well, the foundations are still there, so we can work on that. It's no harm. But it was a pretty huge storm. It's been like how many days now since? Well, it's been a week. It's been a few days since we were back and all the stuff, so this probably started to recite, uh, you know, like recite, rescind the water. So I do hope, well, we're gonna have to go have a uh, check there with uh, the mirrors once we can, just to see what it looks like. Yes. If it's not too sharp. You can work with that. But I was thinking, like, telling people to don't go into the woods to the, do to the north of the, of the town and the mine because the Fae live there. So start pay what you want to call them. Take Vasil if he wants. Oh, they call, we were called, yeah, trog troglodytes for some reason. When you mentioned the trog, Siggy's just going to kind of lean over towards Saracena. So, do you know what those things were, by the way? Like, actually? Saracena will just shrug. From Hashat's memories, they smell like elf. So I think your hypothesis is correct. They're probably just degenerate elves. That intense pheromone that snared your elven Prince fellow, was unusual, perhaps some sort of plant symbiosis. Hard to say. I wonder if I could figure out how they did that. Did what? Did that whole pheromone thing. That would be... A shot, my dear. You have pheromones already. Oh, I do? Yes. Ooh. You can't smell them. 
But there is a reason you wake up almost every morning with Tassinora literally hugging your testicles. Uh, I thought that was just like <laughs> because they're the comfiest pillows. I thought, I thought I thought that was she was just into that. I didn't. Well, yes, yeah, she is, but there's a reason she is. Oh. Hmm. Ha ha! I did it. You did it? Well, since uh, you guys were talking about, I was reading chat and seeing that the fucking uh, sailor, magical girl, makeover speed on stuff. Check VCT. Oh no. Yes. It's Sailor, Sailor Fox Scout. Oh, Fox Moon here. Anyway, we seem to be nearing the tower. Mm, smells of magic and cinnamon. Magic and cinnamon. Ooh, delicious. Yeah, what is it with people and cinnamon anyway? It's like... What does magic it smell like? Burns. Magic smells like cinnamon. Oh, it smells like cinnamon. Yes. Have you never noticed? I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm, I'll have to... I have to pay attention to my nose next time I cast some spells. Yes. Really, you should pay attention to it more often. Here, go sniff Tarnavok all over. It's quite a cavalcade. I'd... I'd rather not. Are you sure? Yes. But what if Siggy you will do? get jelly. Siggy likes to watch. Also, she likes blushing and hiding behind her hands when I call her out on it. Well, regardless, there's the wizard's tower here. Someone put a harness on the goblin before he runs off. <laughs> right, well, let's take a look. Let's see if we can get some information out of this place. Yes, indeed. You have approached a tower that is more or less a miniature version of the Great Tower itself. It is the furthest from the city, and probably a good reason why they picked this one to put all the mages in. There are beautiful trees sculpted all around it into uh, a promenade row leading to the great doors. And the walls are predominantly made up of marble and glass. And inside, as you enter, you are treated to the smell, not of cinnamon to any of you, but rather old parchment and alchemical reagents mixing in the air. To those of you with a magical bent, it's almost intoxicating. There are countless bunny girls and a few minotaurs, amazons, and others, even a couple of orcs, gathered around in a tremendous semicircular lecture hall that dominates one side of the ground floor, while many others move around on the predominantly open sections of the upper towers, which are ringed with bookcases and bookcases and bookcases, thousands of tomes and scrolls, even some stone tablets all neatly catalogued and accessible by rolling ladders. And like the palace, there is another of these floating elevators that connects upwards to a enclosed second half where presumably the Arc Wizard makes her abode. As you enter a Talir in a long red cloak and hat will approach you with an easy smile. Friends, welcome. I see at least one sorceress amongst you. What can the sentinels do for you? 
I am on a search for information. I'm trying to track down a lineage. Well, you've come to the right place for knowledge, but lineage? Hmm. I suppose that depends on what lineage. One descended from old ancient Manotha. I conducted a scrying with a circle of power to try and find this individual or individuals, but I was blocked and only got a view of the city. It was a very nice view, overhead view of the city, but I couldn't get any closer. Apparently the city is warded. Ah, yes, the Tower of Roses is enchanted and keeps unwanted eyes off not just the princess, but everyone. But you say you're looking for the Minothan royal family. As yes, far as the Minothelpas. Where that line has been extinguished for quite some time. Not. Well, I certainly did get something. Pointed me directly to here. Hmm. Well, let's see what we have here. We have a few genealogies, but I'm afraid Minoth has stopped keeping its records more than 1,500 years ago. Well, they did uh, fall apart. That's putting it lightly, yes. Uh, do you have any idea where these supposed descendants might have settled? Uh, royalty tends to breed into royalty. Mm. So, I did the scrying a couple of months ago. Mm. Not asking for the specific descendant you're looking for, but rather... Uh, what branch they are. I doubt they would have settled here in Illyria. There wasn't a proper royalty that long ago. Aduna's lines. Oh, about no. 900 years old. But I do know that there was a, a bunch of minotaurs that took up residence in the city some hundred years ago. Mm, yes, but those are just barbarians. Coming down here and ravaging the city and making off with slaves. Were they all? Yes, but I... considering what happened to the Minotaurs, to my people, uh, it would not be impossible that one of them could have been descended from one of the princes a long time ago. I suppose that's entirely true and fair, although I'm afraid the minotaurs that attacked our city all that time ago were more or less pre-literate. They don't yeah, exactly that keep the was, records. that was what happened. Mm. Do you know of any I... artifacts or heirlooms they might have been carrying? There are a few famous items amongst the Minotaur heroes and their descendants we can look through. Mm. Oh. Ursula just takes off the bracers. Yes, I, I see the craftsmanship there, but I'm thinking about things that these descendants might have had with them. Something that they would have passed down to the one you're looking for. If you know of any missing Minothan artifacts or other magical miscellany, it's possible we've cataloged who has it today. Or at least its last known location. Oh, okay. Wait. Ponder, ponder, ponder. If you had, like, a piece of the royal bloodline, could you use that to, like, locate them? Yes, of course, as long as they're not somewhere that's thwarted, like the city. Yeah. I see it. See, we'll lean over. Yeah? The horn. I have the horn. 
Oh, let's say you got it. The horn, remember, it takes for like a year, over a year. Yeah, but uh, that's the thing. The horn was, uh, it's the broken horn of the brother that wasn't in Minosa when all that shit happened. Remember? Oh, it's been such a long time. Yeah, I, I do remember that because it, it, well, he broke the horn and then he just made a, you know, turned it into drinking a, horn a drinking it. horn. Sage will yes, make so. grabby hands at the horn. Sure. Bunny wants to become thicker. Oh, Bunny, Bunny wants to cast oh, Identify oh. on it and see what the fuck it is. Sure, I'll hand it over. And just for the purpose of not making you wait a while, she'll just cast the spell normally. She takes a minute of her muttering to herself and wiggling her fingers at it. A few students begin congregating around you, seeing the sage casting a proper spell. It discharges, her eyes widen. Oh, my. The lewd thing. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> I was expecting an immediate link swing. Kinda, does, uh, it is kind of like that, I guess, yes. She will try and fail to subtly look at Siggy and her enormous beepers. Yes, well, um, so you say this is part of a blood relative to whom you seek? Yes, it's made of the horn of the out of character. What was the name of the princess? Uh, the princess Prince. was Kreshamira. Yes, her brother was. There was, was a, there was a prince, princess. Constantine. And, uh, I don't, is there a name, like, let's see, where's the, the one that, the armor that, not the armor that, uh. No, I got the bracer. I got his bracers. Yeah. Yeah. Armor of the Minotaur Prince. That was the one that died. Yeah. There's um, no name these on bracers. that. Well, yeah. if you're sure this horn is a physical part of this individual's ancestor, I Reason can to believe so. cast a spell to locate uh, anyone of direct relation. Yeah, sure. I think this would probably just be the scrying spell. Let's see. Do, do, do. Components. Okay, it doesn't have any consumable parts. So she is welcome. She is perfectly willing to just cast it for you. No reason not to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Alright, so she will make a... Hmm. Not the target makes a saving throw. Okay. Let's see, you have a body part of an ancestor. Let's say that's a, I don't know, minus and your knowledge uh, you heard that they might exist so that's going to be like a 7 yeah, yeah. alright boop uh. <laughs> god damn it <laughs> did the section 1 agent just the one that's supposed to save against that fucked up? Yeah, the, the person who who is making the save just rolled a natural one. 
Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's good for you. Excellent. Outstanding. Yeah. Um, in 5e, it, it auto-fails if you roll a nat 1 on a save, right? Or is that only auto-pass right, yeah. on a 20? Mm-hmm. Oh, Neither. yeah. Okay, excellent. Neither of those are roll. Okay, right. That's just 60. All right. Let's see. They're probably a conjurer. Let's just let's just make sure that actually beats the DC. I'm just gonna throw a fireball out. Lamau. <laughs> Is that really your spell DC? Hold up. Brutal. All right. So the scrying ritual takes longer than you might expect. The sage, uh, who's introduced herself by now as Lysandra, will say that it's like the city itself is fighting her, as it often does. But this horn seems to be resonating quite intently with someone in the city. She struggles for a good 20 or 30 minutes, slowly winding the scrying spell tighter and tighter, until eventually she steps back and wipes sweat from her brow and says, I can't get exactly who this person might be, but I've narrowed it down for sure. They're somewhere in the northeast quarter. That's where most of the shops are. That's better than what we had before. Hmm. Unfortunately, the tower's wardings are just too strong to get any closer than that. I don't care if there were, if there were a hobgoblin, you could just have saved the face. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, she's a bunny, so all she can do is hop. Uh, speaking of which, as she is saying this, uh, there is a snap of magic from above you. And, uh, Koinu, you appear on the teleportation platform on the second floor. There we oh. go. Well, are you aware of anyone in that section of the city that might have might be a bit bigger of a build, like a like they might have been have some minotaur in them? My dear, the unfortunate reality is that there are a lot of Talir with Minotaur blood in them now. Mm, An unfortunate that's... number. Hmm. The sage turns around and immediately becomes gay. This coin who walks down the stairs. Uh, oh my. Sorry I was gone so long. That's quite fortuitous. What brings you guys all here? Magic. Well, quite obviously, yes. Searching for leads. Hmm, about your mystery Minothan friend, right? Yes. Should pause and wink at Saracena. I had a quick look into it while I was back in Pargaleth. Um, you might want to try Shatterpike. They would have all the records of Minothan royalty blood relatives. What? That's so... But that's all the way back down south! Afraid so, but it's also where all the miners went after their uh, occupation of the palace ended. The sage will put up a finger. Well, that's where most of them who didn't settle here permanently went. True. There's actually quite a substantial minor minotaur minority here in the town. In fact, you'll find many of them living in that quarter of the town. Which I'll point over yonder. So there are still actual minotaurs that live, live here. Indeed. Uh, in fact, <laughs> now that you mention it, there is a Minothan creamery not far from the palace. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful trip okay. to visit. 
And look at you. Five silver. Beautiful and Five intelligent. Silver. All right, one at a time, please. Uh, Ursula, go. As I find silver, it's around there. Just. <laughs> Put your bed down, the creamery. If that's where you're going to find a Minothan, the creamery. Siggy will take that bet. It's because Siggy knows there's a whorehouse next to the creamery. That's just... Called the creamery with air quotes on it. The sage will inform you that the whorehouse is actually on the other side of town near the dock, because of course it is. Makes sense. And yeah, while while Koyu's all in character, he just smiles at this mystery mage and goes, Well, look at you, you are beautiful and intelligent. My thanks for the assistance. I, um, <laughs> you are most welcome, my lady. Please let us know if there's anything else the Tower of the Sentinels can do for you. I can think of many things. But, uh, for now, I suppose I must wander with my companions. See the beautiful sights of the city. After already seeing one. Siggy will lean over and tweak your ear just a little bit. Alright, enough with the charm. We've got stuff to do still. Of course, sorry. It's, uh, it takes a little bit of warming up to do, and now... Absolutely impossible to get out of character. Pride. Well, now I'm eager to see what Cass has done. Have faith in Cass. Cass is extremely powerful. I'm excited to find out. I suppose he's Gone for a uh, a makeover design, huh? Yes, he's determined to beat you. Test, test. I wonder if he'll go pink again. I don't. I mean, I would enjoy that, but I don't. Yes. Oh, by the way, uh, Tan. Yes. Uh, I don't believe the prince is here. The ones who rode the witch hammer would be his suspected half-brother on the mother's side, traveling in the presence of their general. It is that cast token book. Something of a relief, I must say. Yeah, I suspect you weren't looking forward to an early meeting, were you? I mean, if he came here ourselves, it would have been a prime opportunity to uh, ha him have to have an accident. Well, yes, but that's not going to win Tarnavak an entire continent, is it? If he, you know, acquires it after the prince has an accident visiting a foreign dignitary. The worst thing that could happen here, please don't start a diplomatic incident in a city that isn't ours. Uh, Koinu, could you roll a persuade check with advantage? Sure. Just wanna... mm, not my best, it's just a 17. Not your best, but, you know. Yeah, good old reliable talent just is always <laughs> worth its weight. Nice. Alright, the, uh, <laughs> the mage stammers a moment before composing herself again and says um, uh, d diplomatic incidences aside um, do you have business with the hobgoblin dignitaries I'm afraid you all just missed them this morning uh, are they leaving today I wouldn't know when they're leaving I meant to say that they had been visiting our archives I see. Um, you wouldn't happen to know what in particular they were looking for. Might be interesting to have a conversation point later this evening when we meet them. Yes, uh, they were interested in what lore we had on giants, uh, and also the origin of the Great Palace Tower, though oh, I'm afraid that is lost to history. 
It's a shame. Hmm, I'm sure it won't stay lost forever, but uh, oh, yeah, them and giants. Strange mixture, that. Yes, they brought a whole team of researchers. They were quite insistent, but uh, the princess didn't give them access to our deeper archives. Just what we make available to any guest. Oh, that, that's probably for the best. Where are those deeper archives, then? Because it's already a beautiful building. She will point upwards. They're in and around my chambers at the top. Yeah, fair enough. Ah. Part of me wants to yeah, wait a moment for them to be distracted and then go check and see if they snuck in anyway. Again, just I James Bond start. around. Well, if they got the whole crew there and were pushy about it, they probably got some sneaky sneak bastards. Yeah. With them. Oh, I, I doubt that very much. Not only would that be so obvious, but our archives are well protected by magical traps, and goblins and magic don't really mix. They don't, yeah, but they've been that's... working on mage hunting for a very long time by this point. Yeah, and that's the thing. You said it would be too obvious for them to have it, so like, See? Of course, I wouldn't dare yeah. impress, but I would like to just check for the sake of checking. The last thing we want is to find out they've been breaking in. Um, I'm sorry, I can't give Outlanders access. That is decided by the princess and her council. Of course, no problem then. My apologies. Oh I'd... no, no need to apologize, you're doing your job. Thank you. If there's anything else, though, and as she's saying that, she like looks past Koinu and gestures towards a couple of uh, what you imagine are probably eldritch knights who will quickly scamper towards the stairs. Quack a brow. No, that's everything. Thank you very much. I'm sure we'll meet again. The uh, pleasure was all mine. Nonsense. Saracena will grin and say, Oh, look, you're making an Archmage blush. Mm. And sometimes when I've got it, I've got it. I'm quite sure I will do a pleased wiggle. A wiggle or a waggle? Uh, wiggle more subtle. She's probably had to practice to make sure her tail doesn't just, like, wag whenever she's excited. It's not very good for bluffing otherwise. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'll have to follow you guys out. Alright, well, shall we take a look around these, this quarter of the city, then? Let's go to the creamery. That would be nice. Oh, by the way, I... Let's see here. Got some of these, and I shall pull out little, little baggies of white chocolate. Apparently you used up all of yours recently. Now, how'd you get something like that? Oh, I had to go and hand off the thing. Sig so will nod sagely and will take a little pack of chocolate. Yeah. I made sure to get one for everybody. Well, thank you very much there. Welcome. 
Thank you. They also sent boxes and boxes of them to my kids, so that's very exciting. And I will also palm one to Saracena. And wink. Oh my. And trying to ply me with gifts, are you? Of course. Also, just by figure that you might enjoy it. <laughs> magical bounties of magical earth, etc. Ah, yes, well, Mother always did make the nicest hot chalky. Please, coin your noises. Huck that into her bosom as a lot of you walk along. Some point. Into her bosom, it'll be soup by the time we travel five feet. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, speaking of which, as you are like halfway to the creamery, Saracino will just like slightly part ways with the group for just long enough to go just mac lips on a seemingly random bunny girl and return to the party. Bleh. So I expecting. Oh no, quite the opposite. And it and it's you need to describe. Okay. Yes, infertility around me is like an itch I have to scratch. I can't stand well, it. Congratulations to them. Hmm. Now, speaking of fertility, though, mm, smells like milk. Yeah, it does. I mean, hey, this would be good for that, like, <laughs> the exhaustion you just accrued to doing that. No better place to get that fixed. Indeed. A lot of you approach a, uh, a three-story building on a separate plot of land with a bit of a yard around it, as many of the houses are. Oh, well. Where the fuck oh, do you I'm think Cass surprised. is going to end up? Where, would it, where else would he have gone? <laughs> yeah, it's where, yeah, yeah. You just, it's a, you just hey, where you be a Cass, and he just turns it on the fucking milk mustache. He's like, hey, I shot. <laughs> fuck that, he's got a bowl of ice cream. He's like, I'm Ooh, yum, yum, yum. And yeah, as you guys enter, the doors are parked open, because uh, it's a nice, crisp summer day. There are several bunny girls and a couple of minotaurs inside you can see through the windows. And indeed, uh, as you step in, the temperature drops precipitously. And there is Cass sitting at the bar with a quite large bowl of ice cream. Looks at the lot of you, oh, just waves a spoon. Oh, look who it is. Hey, Cass, what, what do you think? Surprise. Cass is just wearing the same thing he always does. I'll give you a grin. Why, Koinu, that looks amazing. You uh, could pass you for a much. princess. Ah, shucks. Well, I know I have to go all out if I need to even come close to besting a Cass. You will sketch a bow. And a couple of drops of like melted ice cream will pitter patter onto the floor. Oops. Well, I can't say I'm surprised to see the lot of you here. So I'm going to have to pick my jaw up off the floor a little bit. Like physically wrench his own head from looking at my now. <laughs> so, how'd the uh, trip I, I to the tower go? These. Uh, fairly useful. We've tried. We've narrowed things down to this quarter of the city. Ah, yes, that's what yeah. I was thinking, and that's why I'm here, doing some legwork for you. There's a lot of even the one quarter of the city is still a lot to pan to work through. Yeah, it's a lot. But this is where the Minotaurs congregate. Minotaurs and where most of the ones descended from Minotaurs are. are. Well, I don't know about how many descendants there are. To gesture at the fairly svelte compact bunnies lounging around. I think they're mostly here just to enjoy the sights. Well, perhaps here, 
Although I did hear that there's plenty of Salir that are that have Minotaur blood in them in this part of the year, in this part of the city. So our the person I'm looking for could be a Talir. Or it could be one of these Minotaurs, I'm not sure. The enormous Minotaur sitting next to Koina will turn his head slowly. Oh, who are you looking for? I am searching for... Well, I don't know who I'm searching for. I'm searching for a, a lineage. A descendant from an old, old family. They are here somewhere. Need to find them. Well, what family? The Minnesota family of ancient Minotha. <laughs> he just snorts and spoons up some ice cream. <laughs> That's a good one. No, no, she's being serious. We're uh, looking for a lost princess. You know, adventurous stuff. Uh, I don't know how you're going to find... Princess or prince? I mean, it's always a princess. That's how this works. It... What's wrong with prince? Uh, just a prince. There's nothing wrong with prince. No, there's I nothing wrong prince. with being a prince, but narratively, it's always a missing princess. This isn't a sto one of this isn't some bardic story, but I'm a bard. Oh, I'm is. telling the story. Also, <laughs> and the, also the, your reports back at Sec One literally read like bard stories. I'm I hate to break it to you, but you guys are living in a tale, and you are the main actors. What? Yeah, for real. If we put your your like activities in order chronologically, and then have it, you know, just recited by the man with the most sultry voice, it's really, really good telling. Like there are a couple of times with timestamps, but otherwise, it's a pretty smooth tale from beginning to end. Huh. Yeah, no, you guys are definitely storybook characters. Sorry. Also, we're in a city of bunny girls. There's like a seventy-five percent chance it's just a female, anyway. I mean, yes, the it is weighted that way. <sighs> I wish I had more information to go off of. Hmm. aside then, handsome, do you happen to know any who are especially rich, perhaps? Maybe they might have come from old stock or have good records? Minotaur will shake his head. Nah. Most of our folk came down here just, well, not much more on them than their loincloths and axes. There's a few that had some old magical stuff, but eh, not much money back then. <laughs> not like it is today. Makes sense, I suppose. Some of them had some magical objects with them? Sure. What I understand, they don't exactly uh, break over time, so once you got it, you got it forever. There's a couple of swords, uh, you know, real, real big ones. There was, uh, let's see, there was a horn. This one? Hey! You know, give the horn a little poke. Yeah, might just be that one. Oh, and there's uh, there's Mira's hammer. A hammer? Mm-hmm. Big old sucker, too. Is it fancy looking? Well, I mean, it's magic. Everything magic's fancy looking. And look at the horn. Pokes it again. Little gold filigree on it. I guess that's fair enough. But yeah, the horn, Mira's hammer, uh... I think the Mira, captain of the guards uh, got her sword. Although uh, I don't think she's descended from a minotaur. I think she took it off a dead one. 
Hmm. It could have. It could have passed hands, but it's still a lead. Who's this Mira person? Hmm? Oh, uh, town blacksmith. I say that like she's the only one, but the best in town anyway. Uh, shop's just a little up the street. Can't miss it. Hmm. I certainly know I want to go around. Uh, do you happen to know a particularly good jeweler, by the way? I have a lot of wives to get lovely rings and earrings for. <laughs> I ain't that rich, sweetheart. Uh, well, I'm sure they are up no near the palace, least. though. Uh, there's some uh, fancy artificers up there. Um, excellent. Thank you very much. Pleasure. So, uh, Captain of the Guard and a blacksmith. All right. Well, thank you for your information. Hey, no problem. You take care of that horn now. That's a culture artifact. That's not the only one I've got. Saracena will, like, very gently kick you in the back of the leg. Ah. What? Is <laughs> this poor Saracena now frothing after being in the room of Horny? The room of Horny, please. This is the lowest key Horny around. This is true, actually. It's an yeah, ice cream shop. This is just really lovely. It is. Yeah, Coin is definitely doing. I don't know if anyone else has ever done a hot chalky flight, but it is, of course, delicious. The shot will get some ice cream for Saracena. Yeah. And Ursula and Goldie will also get their creamy milks and icy creams. Cass will pay for everything. Oh, thank you, Cass. Anytime. Just uh, consider it an early consolation prize. <laughs> and solve this, and then I'm going to eat this ice cream spoon just like real nice and slow. Run tongue along the fucking rim of it. He will just lean on the bar and smirk and say, Damn oh, it, just another put, 17. Putting all that effort into it. Wow. That's true. I do have to. I know where my specialities lie. Well, they are very lovely assets you have, I gotta admit. Thank you. I'm probably going to be back to being a scruff bag disaster tomorrow, but, you know. As you're saying that, Siggy's just going to kind of lean towards Tar and whisper. So what do you think the odds are those two end up fucking instead of the princess? Ass and coin it. She nods. Yeah. Pretty low. I mean, Cass is Cass, but she's pretty solidly, uh, well, at least cl she claims to be pretty solidly just into girls. I mean, yeah, but Cass. That's a Cassidy over there. The odds are pretty decent, honestly. <laughs> it's like you look at a Cass, he just makes a meow, and you're like, all right, fine, fuck you. <laughs> Why I, uh, why I wouldn't say n n they, they're non-existent, but still. I think also, uh, well, uh, With how much she knows about her shot, well, that's probably a point against uh, poor kitten. Since she's too, she's much too big for Koino, and uh, well, they do sort of come as a package. They come in many packages. 
Yeah, but I mean, Cass could be the meat in the sandwich. Fair enough. Clearly, you put Cass on a on a uh, on a hushat ass first, and then Koinu climbs aboard a Cass lap. Exactly, it's the heavy ride. You're you're gonna ride the bull together. Feel like everyone's just like, yeah, I'm incredibly gay, but that over there's a Cassidy. I it's true. That's that how thing that works. can fit so many. <laughs> slaps that... Cassidy's back. This boy can hold so many conflicting sexual emotions. That is how Cass works. So yes, you can enjoy your icy creams and Cassidy flirtations. What do? When do we have to be back at the at the e- evening? Is our dinner? What time is it now? Right now, it's... we arrived in the morning, so noon. Yeah, it's a little bit afternoon now. Cass will say that you're expected at the palace's great hall at six o'clock. Okay, so we still have a few hours. Mm Mm-hmm. I suppose I try. Wanted. I would like to try and find this Mira individual. Well, shouldn't be hard. Uh, Because it's just down the street. Let's go for it. So this may sound like a crazy question, but why are you looking for a Minothan ancestor? That's not something I recall reading about, and I'm pretty sure I recall reading everything about you guys. Uh, it's about an inheritance. Okay. Is it something you have to be coy about, or...? Well, no, I guess not. I just don't I'll want certainly help however I can. The well, the ghosts of the royal family uh, asked me to find their descendant, and okay. uh, they want to, I guess, bring them to them where they uh, to the sword grave, so that they can take up their mantle. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Do you expect anything special to happen when they take up the mantle? It's not exactly easy to bring back ancient royalty, but I guess it happened with the humans pretty recently. I don't know. They have to take the sword out of the stone, though. And hopefully not be turned to stone. That's what this is. Act. This is what this actually is. Just oh, I see. Shake the the stones and braid. Yeah. Right. Never ever touch the... a shot's hammer. Like literally never. Even I can. No, that, that's fine. I uh, that part is in there. Nice to know it's because some it's some kind of hammer of choosing. I'm, well, I look actually, sad it's not now. a hammer of choosing. Hmm. It's, it's a, sword. a sword. Yeah, Hashat just broke off the handle in the stone it was in. Oh. Huh. This so I... is mm. actually a petrified, sh- like, scabbard. Give it a little look, Silo. Just out of cur- just to assuage her curiosity. You, you see the Kirk hammer. Yeah. I don't know, at 19, any, uh, sorry, 18, any mysterious ridges hidden away in this thing? Secreted, oh, pocketed I'm things? I'm pretty annoyed. I'm pretty uh, sad. No. Nope. The, the party seems to have discovered all of its many and sundry secrets. Fat enough. Does that work in a fight then if you just sort of chuck your hammer at someone yes. and say, hey, catch? Yeah. 
Yeah, we've done if that. If someone well. disarms me with it, disarms me, they will be unfortunate. They will see the error of their ways. Now that seems really convenient. As opposed to, like, Lord Winter's sword, where he throws it away and then somebody steals it forever. That was really funny. Uh, right. Hmm. Just call him August Butterfingers Autumn Star. Uh, I'd rather not call him anything. I no, you probably you guys, shouldn't. You know, I know that you guys have your history with them, and goodness knows they are... Ugh, God, he's a lot of reading material. Let's just put it that way. Done a lot of um, astoundingly horrible things. It's just very... That is definitely, like, the weirdest aspect about your group in general, amongst those, you know, in the know. Hi. Be nice to him. Uh, he's not here to hear it, and if he is, well, he probably knows he's a jack. And it's probably proud of that fact. He's yeah, probably, I mean, I'm to... certain, I mean, he might not be here, but he's probably watching us. I don't think he right. is now, because the wardings. Oh, right, the wards. Yeah, of course, owned. Um, say be nice to him all you uh, want. I'm going to choose probably to be polite, but I don't have any thanks. fond feelings for the person who, you know, did a lot of atrocities. Sorry. As I say, it's yeah. the weirdest part yeah. of your record that you walk around with him. You have your reasons, and I'm sure you've gotten used to him being around. Yeah, it is a little trust. unnerving to have a genocidal maniac just chilling with us. Especially yeah. since we used to, uh, like, basically live in his basement. That one's also odd. Dead. There are, uh, admittedly, thankfully, disproven a large number of things positing that you were all actually secretly apprentices, although you did appear to turn one up. Um, I mean, uh, he definitely did train Nahi's daughter how to fight. Uh, fair enough. Or that you were all mind-controlled by him, or that you were demons in disguise. You ever notice any sec ones giving you like really weird handshakes in the early days? Uh, the only section one no. person I know of is that, uh, what was her name? Uh, Lady Sarah? That's it. That's the only one I know of. Fair enough. Good <laughs> target was getting gang knifed on a boat one time. Yeah! Yeah. Also, like that, it's a flashback away. Yeah. Coiny yeah, knows about that uh, incident. He's a friend. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he's a friend, but also, it's not like he's, I don't know, made good for all the horrible things she's done. It's weird. Well, it's almost like. He just started. I don't think he cares to, though. I think he just wants to be left alone. Like, we haven't unleashed him as, a, like, a force of good in the world. He's just a crotchety old man now. Yep. Uh, general operations has changed from escape and tell someone to just leave the old man the fuck alone. Admittedly said more complicatedly and in code, but you get the idea. That's probably for the best. Just leave it as it is. Just leave it as it is. And everyone will be happy. It grinds a lot of gears. There's a prevailing theory that he's quite slayable now, but again, it's not worth it, or it's considered a very expensive endeavor to attempt. I and mean... the expense is paid by innocence, not us, so we can't do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. He was always slayable, it's yeah. just like Imagine what Lord Winter did when they killed his wife. But then imagine... Imagine what his wife will do. Yeah, she's way scarier than he is. Her. Or his kids. Well, did you know yeah, he's a warlock now? 
We had a feeling he'd become one. Didn't know that. Nice to confirm. Well, here's the thing, though. Um, just leave him alone. He said it's just. I like him. Yep. Cass opens his mouth to say something and then closes his mouth again. Yeah, that was almost certainly Coiny's direction. Say, does Cass speak Kant? Uh, no. That is that is a rogue Dang. class feature. It is, but it's a language that anyone can learn, actually. Rogues right. get to start with it, but it's just a language you can take. I feel like that's not true. Yeah, it is. It's very much not true. What? Yeah, it's, hmm. a, it's a secret language, like Druidic. You can't just learn it to learn it. Okay. <laughs> Guardian chat Realistically, says, is a I... special code language. You can learn it, but you can't take it. Guardian said in chat... He, that he heard, does Cass speak cunt? Yes, fluently. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a cunning linguist. As you are finishing that line of conversation, uh, the party turns a corner and onto the road, leading up to the blacksmiths. And as you are arriving, it seems that... Uh, one of the knights that you met up in the palatial throne room is leaving. She's lent on a post and the or outside the smithy itself, speaking to the blacksmith, a, a bit larger than average, dusky skinned Talir who's wielding a hammer that is entirely comically too large for her, uh, pounding away at what looks like a bunch of horseshoes. The Lady Knight uh, glances over her shoulders at the lot of you approach and gives you a nod and then takes from her pack a quite hefty uh, pouch of gold and tosses it onto the smith's workbench. Said Smith will fail to catch it, then put her hands on it. You can see her cheeks color a moment. She says something in Illyrian. Uh, do any of you speak it? No. Excellent. She says something to the knight. The knight gives her a nod. She turns towards a lot of you. Adventurers. Lady Siggy. Goddess. Lady Ispra. A pleasure to see you again. And you as well, especially in that attire. You are going to nice. make some heads turn tonight. It's a shame I won't be There's there. Where's the hope? Oh, you won't be there. How come? Uh, duty calls, I'm afraid. And besides, there aren't quite enough chairs in the Great Hall for everyone. Well, that's not very great of the hall at all. <laughs> Indeed. Well, not unless the princess wants to drag out another table just for one person to sit at. It would be a very impressive move. Yeah, so well, especially if she sits big old Hashat there, but I think oh, it best. No. If if you put just Hashat there as the biggest person, it would look like she sat at the kid table alone. And that's messed up. Funny, but messed up. Cass starts giggling incessantly. Anyway. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for a smith, I can't rem I recommend Mira here highly enough. I'm sure she can handle whatever it is you seek. Good day. Take care. 
Oh, I'm sitting alone at a kid table with Nuggie. <laughs> That's <laughs> no. It's more like if she look, if she sat at her own table, she makes it look like she sat at the kids table because she's so fucking big. <laughs> yeah, and then she gets Nuggies. Yay! Which to we be fair, for a I think it's a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah one hundred percent. I've had artisanal Nuggies before. They're lush. Nuggies. Uh me. But you get to her own little Burger King crown as well. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Which of course makes us the, the spirit in her horns real happy. It's like, oh, get me, I'm a queen. Ah, yes, yeah. so of course. The ultimate power move go to a royal dinner and then bring a bag of fucking Burger King. Nuggets, nuggets. A bucket of KFC. <laughs> That's not Christmas. So, as you guys uh, see Lady Ispra saunter off, hate to see her leave, love to watch her go, the blacksmith tucks this large pouch of coin away and sets her large hammer down. Looks at a lot of you, gives you a slight up nod. Adventurers, right? What can I do for you? You are the blacksmith Mira. That's right. Well, hello there. I am a shot. Wave you on over and take off her smithing gloves. Hey, a shot. Remember to do your full titles. I'm not going to do that. Titles, huh? You some kind of lord? Uh, yes, the shot, Lord of Ignis, of Ignaferis, down south by uh, near Ivara. Ivara, huh? I can't can say I've ever been there, but I've heard it's beautiful and wealthy. And come, what can I do for you? You have an uh, impressive hammer. Need work? No. Well, maybe. I'm actually interested in seeing your hammer. <laughs> I hear it is a very old ah. cast down was my father's, yes. Uh, I'm afraid that's not for sale. I'm not looking to buy. I am just interested in its history. And potentially your history. Would you like to explain? Uh, well, I'm looking for someone who belongs to a certain bloodline. What do you know about yours? Um, I'm afraid I'm not in the habit of talking about family history to strangers. Do you know anything about uh, ancient Minotha? Uh, Yes, I know of it. I have no interest in it myself. Papa did, though. Did he? Hmm. Yes, he had a long conversation with the Emperor about it before he sold me. Oh, well, you have my condolence. Uh. Do you know anything about these conversations he had? Not much. It was shin high and they spoke goblin. Mm. 
And I am telling you things I just said I was not going to. God damn it. Grump at herself. Lean back on this uh, table here. Rolling her shoulders. Come, at least tell me what it is you're interested in, really. I'm searching for a, well, I'm searching for a prince or a princess that doesn't know they're a prince or a princess. Oh, come on, this is not a storybook. That's what I said. It's certainly not one of Mama's tales. <laughs> if there's a princess around here, it doesn't really matter anyway. <laughs> it matters to someone. To who? Isn't Minotha long dead? Yes. Emperor said it was just a crater in the ground. Of death. There, w There is an old city underground. But there are a pair of spirits that want to see that their line continues and to meet their descendant. Uh, well, that is a shame for spirits and should go to uh, Wolvar's embrace, if you ask me. A bit of unfinished business, I guess, for them. You look like the kind who could banish spirits. I mean, I could have simply usurped this position for myself. I certainly had the ability to do so, but what? I decided to give this a chance and what position do you someone. think you're usurping? Queen of a dead country isn't much of a queen. I know. Well. It might not be physically important, but it is important to someone. Well, huh? good luck in your quest. If you want to see the hammer, I suppose you can. <laughs> She'll lift it and hesitate a moment. Well, it's for paying customers only. I will... I'll just put, like, ten gold on the table. I was about to say, could I get a silver dagger to hide in my gut about? So look at the pile of gold, smack. Well, generous paying customers too. Here, she will heft the big old hammer up, and it is indeed pretty much a shot size. And when she lifts it, you can see that this bunny is fucking jacked, even by blacksmith standards. Quite <laughs> quite <laughs> leans over, does the head tilt? Nice. Cassidy, can you legend lore? How uh, what? Mira will flex at the kitties. <laughs> Appreciate the stairs. Have a uh, big gym downstairs. You do good work with that. I do good work with everything. Uh, you should see my swords. Don't get the chance to make enough of them. Mm, uh, I would love, uh, say, like a slender blade, something I can carry... Uh... While I'm in this lovely dress. Hmm. I have just a thing for you. Ah, excellent. She will squidge past a shot into the storefront. And when she goes inside, you can see that there is an extraordinarily pregnant bunny girl behind the counter to whom Mary will speak for a moment. Returning with a quite beautiful stiletto and 
When Mira was saying that she does good work, she was not kidding. This is easily masked work and then some, with artistry engraved in every inch of blade. Little images of bunnies hopping along, growing fiercer and fiercer as they reach the tapered edge. Oh, that is just perfect. How much? Hmm, for this, I could let it go for uh, 400 silvers. Okay, right. Yeah, okay. All right, adventures. Of course, you're just bleeding money. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, it's just because this piece is worth it. Well, you thank you, miss. Smile warmly. Hopefully it'll impress the princess herself. Now, yes, yeah. Mama mentioned you were going to uh, the date tonight. Uh, unfortunate company excluded. That is a rare honor. Yeah, hopefully we'll uh, bring a little balance to the company involved. Well, if you can find your way into an excuse to shove them, that would be just as well. I've already promised no diplomatic incidents, but I won't rule it out of just happening anyway. Good. She will hand you the dagger with a little, little leather scabbard that uh, the strips of which are about thigh sized. Ah, perfect. And yeah, uh, she will do a deft little one handed thread of through, which of course gives an opportunity to show off lots and lots of jacked leg for everyone. Both Mira and Cass make impressed noises. And Hashat, uh, would yes. you like to roll a history check on this? Or you can just, I guess, have Cass pick his job off the floor and legend board all the way. Yeah, I, I will certainly put my give it a, give it a try. All right. Actually, Cass oh, wow. doesn't have legend lore. That was Tassie. Shit. Uh, let's roll in it. uh no. You you have a cow in your head. She's only left you level. Fuck your cow. Cast third level spell. Doesn't matter. Crit. Damn it. Bard's lad. gonna bard. The lad. He's too powerful. There is a reason when picking Koinu's fucking proficiencies that I didn't bother with history. I mean, it is, uh, unironically his best skill, uh, even over persuasion. Oh, yeah, uh, that would be thanks to the crown, I imagine. Yep, his, his uranium is just so fucking thick. My god. Alright, so Cass will look it over with you for a few moments, and, uh... Well, Hashat, you don't know the exact history of this hammer. It's readily apparent to you that this is Minothan artistry. And quite old, too. It's of a style that probably predated solid steel plate armor. It wasn't meant for crushing breastplates. This is a hammer meant to bash skulls open and nothing else. Although it's clearly working quite well as a blacksmith's hammer, thanks to its large blunted head. Cass, uh, however, will lean over and look it over your shoulder, saying, Hmm, I recognize this thing. Do you? Mm-hmm. There was a mural back in Minotha. It had a minotaur with this hammer. I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty, pretty confident it was that, uh, Ilya Miro fella. The prince that got away. Mm. So this very strongly could be the person I'm looking for. Or at least whoever gave her the hammer was. Her father. Miss Mira. The... You said... Where... You said this was your father's hammer? Or he gave it to you? Uh, yes, it was Papa's hammer. 
I don't know if I'd say he gave it to me, but it is mine by rights. I don't suppose you know where he got it from. No, I can't or if say this I is do. a family heirloom. Yeah. As far as I know, it was his father's. But I can't say for certain. I was sold young. Hmm. Still. Still what? I would like to... Hmm. There, there is one way to find out, but it is dangerous. <laughs> dangerous for who? It would be dangerous for you. And I certainly want well, we no don't have, part in it. We, we don't have access to Great Restoration? Do we not? Like, I don't know if we do anymore, because Tassie had it. and Tassie... That could be cast through, through Hedmo. With your she's, slots, I'm pretty sure. She doesn't have no. She's only she can only has recorded third level high, like third level spell. Oh, third level. I thought she had four. Uh, I thought in power. I thought it, like soup. I thought further enchanting the crown would give her more power. What it has. Uh, I mean, you could always rip a line of the good shit. Yep. Oh wait, I'm pregnant. Uh, oil of slipperiness. What? She can't get turned to stone if she oils of oil or slipperiness is, so the, the hammer can choose her safely. That's Well no. See the point is it's if she well that Presumably just... there are more signs than doesn't turn to stone. Uh I actually don't well I don't know if there are actually. Uh, Sarah Cena, do you happen to have the cure to whatever might happen before you spook the poor lady? Mm -hmm. Sorry, dear. What? Seriously, it's like literally okay? just walked around a corner. You see a big pregnant lady, don't you? Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, what was the question? Um, are you able to cast greater restoration no. or, or save someone from being turned to stone? Just stop gripping the hammer, idiot. Oh, okay. I would ask you. Okay, yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Can you take this? She'll put her hammer. Her she'll, the shop will put her hammer on the ground. Uh, so it's just sitting, like head down. Can you pick this up? If you start feeling anything, if you start feel. If it makes you feel sick, drop it. Your if friend you mentioned something about curiosity. danger. Would you like to actually tell me what I'm potentially getting into? Because I have no interest. If in... you, if you can, if it the hammer doesn't like you, it will eventually turn you to stone. I think I will pass, but thank you. It does take more than a. It does take more than than a few seconds to do it. That does not fill me with confidence, and. Regardless, I don't care if I'm some hidden princess. That's stupid. I'm not it, and even if I were, it doesn't matter. The dead country. The dead bloodline. So, fuck it. Sorry, but whatever it is you're looking for, you're not going to find it here. I could make it worth your while to at least indulge me. Like how? How does... How does 300 gold sound? You're shitting me. You would pay me that much just to Hutch, I'm a cursed item. Well. 
Does it really mean that much to you? It does. Oh. Fuck it, I suppose. You swear to me if I turn into a fucking statue, you will go and get the Sandra down here to save me. I swear that if some I swear if that does happen, we will immediately find the first person the first person who can unstone you and bring them here immediately. She points through the window to the girl manning the storm. You heard that, right? She will nod. <sighs> oh, fuck it. 300 gold is a lot of fucking money. After a moment's further consideration, she will run her hands through her hair, roll her shoulders. Fine. Fine. Fuck it. Give me the coin. I'll touch your hammer. Cast Snickers. Okay, well, all right then. Yeah, shot will start, you know, we'll start counting out some coins. You fucking adventurers really do just roll in money, don't you? Only sometimes. I have magic in the Enchanted hammer, I should have just gone dungeon crawling. It's, what am I doing with my life? Well, you're about to make oh. quite a lot of money for simply indulging my curiosity. God, what a Although, terrible out of context! <laughs> Although, if this succeeds, I would ask more of you. You can ask, but I'm not sitting on some throne of corpses. What you do is up to you, I don't... But I would ask you to help me appease these ghosts. You don't have to accept. You just have. To. I would ask you to join to travel with me to where they are and meet them at least. Or we'll take the pouch of coin and stow it in the same drawer that the previous pouch had been in. And take a step forward and grip the hammer. Sharp moans as she does, making it weird for everyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she grips the hammer. A moment passes. And a moment passes. No, god damn it. Cool. Uh, you're not a minotaur, so that does mean something. No, but Papa was. Yeah, but you're not, though. No, clearly I am not. And the hammer didn't turn you to stone. It didn't. It just answers many questions about earlier in life. Ugh. Shit. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but as far as I know, I don't have any siblings. Emperor made sure of that.
Well, we... oh, I have a question. No, wait, what? not you. I don't remember. Ugh. Not you. I was just going to sit down on one of the stacks of boxes and lean back. And she starts to cry. Oh dear. Oh, 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 oh dear. Uh, uh. Oh no, you just watched someone got hit right in the daddy issues. Oh, jeez. Pass will uh, immediately rush on. Yeah. Release the Saracena. Yeah. While you're dealing with that, Saracena's over in the other room, or around the corner, tapping her foot impatiently. Oh, god damn it. Oh, well, at least it is oh, her. Oh. Yeah, that seems like that was the result you were after. Probably not the reaction. Well, I don't care. That's the result of shots after. True. I just figured you'd cared about the things that Ashat cared about. Mm, often. In this case, seeing a dead kingdom be resurrected doesn't particularly appeal to me, if only because I want to see Hashad found a new one, more prosperous and with clean slate, but... Fecund and virile and yada yada yada. Well, yes. Basically. Hmm. You wanted something, Ursula. Is there, like, somebody that's, uh... Is somebody that's making you itch? Yes. She's bouncing. Yes, I'm itching like fucking crazy, Ursula. Can you not tell? No, because I, I'm not you. I can't really tell mm. at all. Like, to be completely honest, you're you're like a what's it called? You're like a you're like Tassie, but you know more her shot. Like the same color as I shot. I don't know why this has become a race thing, Wait. but yes. Real weird. No, um, I mean, like, I, because, uh, just make the motion to her skin color. Like, what about it? I mean, that. It just points at her own hair, points at her own clothes, and points at the red stuff. Yes, like, I noticed that the different for what? Why? When? Huh? What is the point? Yes. You remember that there was still colorblind, right? No. No? No, that's never come up. Oh, really? You don't remember that uh, she can't see the difference, but there's only blue and red. No, all I, in fact, if I remember quite correctly, all you've ever said is that someone is a funny shade of green. I have no idea that you were colorblind. If that came up in the, when we were in the temple of the uh, primordials, because she kept calling that things were blue when they were purple. I fucking know. Well, up, they probably guys, also looked yeah, quite blue. Naya, I, I don't know. I well, don't recall that. It was Naya's clothes. Yeah, it was Naya's uh, clothing that were purple, uh, just uh, it kept saying they were blue. Okay, cool. I, I don't recall that. It's been an eternity, and in that case, it went completely over my head. Um, no, you would. Uh, Naya was actually when I asked that uh, person, are you colorblind? Fair, it, it's been a while. I don't recall. No, it's okay then. So, 
So, like, they're... So, it's going to just exactly add to on the head. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah so... Anyway, go on then. What actually is it, Cena? Would you like help asking them about it? No, I don't need help fucking asking. I'm being a good girl and waiting my turn instead of spoiling her shot's moment because I'm not an asshole. Well, fair enough. There's nothing I would like more in this particular moment to just shove the stupid horse out of the way and mack that girl on the lips, but I'm not going to do it right now. Right, okay. Uh, I will pause. And I, I, I pop my half-finished smoke out. Here you go. <laughs> Thank distract you. you for a minute. Yeah, you're gonna need some milk too because you already did that one, so. And that's why I ate a bowl of Minotaur ice cream. What do you think's in there? Yeah, I feel amazing after having Minotaur ice cream and chalky milk. Better than ah. a good night's sleep. Okay. Uh, anyway, sounds like the girl's about done bawling. Let's see what she has to yep. say. And indeed, Mira will sniffle and rub at her nose, after dabbing her eyes on Cass's collar. And so, it's so, like she, you see how jacked she is; she can lift him up and use him as a neckerchief. I mean, Cass would probably be into it, to be fair. But no, she's like sitting down, so Cass is like just his chin's on the top of her head right now. Dab her eyes and rub her nose. Sorry about that. There's a lot of bad memories coming back all at once with new context. It's it's all right. I see now why the emperor was so interested in me as a child. When he did all the things he did. Hmm. He told me once. Oh no, Cena's got her come in a box. Oh my. No. He surely not. He told me once it was what like owning a piece of history dug right out of the ground. She would spit mm. on the dirt floor. Monster. Hmm. Very much so. I will lean over and whisper to Cena at some point. Wait, do we actually have her come in a box? There is a moment where you oh. see, like, visibly Cena's hands tighten like she wants to just throttle you. She take a big hit off the doobie instead. No, you don't have her come in a box. Think for five minutes about what the fucking Emperor does to women with that part of their body. Right, right. I'm sorry to have dredged up bad memories. No, didn't intend for that. No, I know, it's fine, you didn't. You didn't know, and it's not your, not your problem. I just... Uh... Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but this Minothan thing, you came for no reason. There's still nothing for you here, even with me. I am just the steward of this. I'm, I'm not here to force you to take it. There's nothing to take. It doesn't... <sighs> You can go and tell your spirits the Minothan bloodline died 70 years ago. Uh. Sorry. I think they'd rather hear it from you, personally. What do you want me to go and say to these spirits, these ancestors? Whatever it is you want to say. I don't want to Sorry. say anything. Thanks, but no thanks. It's not... Listen. When Emperor takes 
half sex a girl in the serum. What do you think happens? I would try not to think about it. Yes, well, I had to live it. So, like I said, the bloodline is dead. You understand now? Do you like it unceased? What do you mean, would I like it unceased? Do you know... Have you heard of the goddess Saracena? No. I've heard of the oh, goddess of alchemy coven stones, but their potions cost... She'll gesture at the big pile of coin. Half again that much. Still well... 20 years from earning that much. Even with Mama helping me. Well, Saracena is very generous and very eager to bless people. Uh, and it doesn't cost anything. She, if it is a fertility thing you have, issue, she Other could... One. Oh. 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 I see. Well, that is also something she could fix immediately and give you back whatever you've lost. Castle nod. She literally did it to me. And it, yeah, it, it works. Mira will just squint. What? I knew it. Just... She did grow your balls back. Cass's <laughs> cheeks will just turn rosy. Shut up. But yes. It, it is relevant to this conversation, so yes. I will own up to that now. Where is Saracena? Around the corner, trying to be really patient, but now we've gone and stumbled into what she wanted to ask on our fact. Saracena, do you have a minute? Hello, yes, a shot. I have all the time in the world for you three. <laughs> she is desperate to help. Mira will look around the corner. That's just a random elf. No, this is Saracena, the primordial of the earth and bounty. Creator of Talir and all that. This isn't funny. It's not funny at all. Do I look like I understand I quite a lot of hardship? To quote the uh, sooth, I am not actually laughing, so it must not be a joke. Uh, a cruel prank. What? What do you think you're going to do, Elf? Sarsina, get her! <laughs> Maka! <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. Like, I need any encouragement. Mira, darling, hello. I'm uh, Saracena. With a kiss, I can regrow any lost sexual organ or accoutrement thereof, move them around, give, take, replenish, enhance, whatever you want. Just say the word. Please, I'm fucking begging you here. It makes me itch knowing what's wrong with you. Uh, just a kiss. That's that's all. You're you're just actually a just a goddess in the hot elf form. Yes, yes, I am. Come here. Burst those lips up. Oh. She would have been a dragon, but uh, a shot. Well. Love sounds. I like her as an elf. Mira will just groan in the back of her throat. Fine, whatever. That's a shitload of gold. What do I care? Come on, elf. Fuck her up. Sarasina so will indeed step forward, just wrap her arms around Mira and Absolutely tongue fucker. 
and then those of you who are standing in front can see a like wet splotch just appearing on the front of Mira's trousers and slowly running down her leg. The Talir stands on the very tippy toes, shuddering from the tips of her ears all the way down. And when Saracena lets her go, she is left gasping and panting, eyes unfocused. She's just going to thrust a hand under her pants and grasp around, eyes wide open. Firmly grasp it. And then she cries again. No, not this, this time. time. She cries, what tea? She already did that. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, I need I need to get one of them. The, the smooches, not the, the dangas. Seriously, no, we'll just wipe some sweat off of her brow. Well, why not both? I, mine's already got me into plenty of quite wonderful trouble. But think of all the trouble I could get you into. Uh, or that you could get into me. Uh, <laughs> After just, seeing the look on her face, I it. am strongly considering it, but we'll wait and see. You just see a part of all the parchment slowly lifting up. You can't so tell so. me not to be horny. It just can't be done. Have you seen this woman? Sarah Cena will jiggle. Yes. I know. And I walked and I walked next to Rashad for over a year with that fucking musk armor. Trust me. I have learned self control. Yeah. I have not had to. And uh, I was banging out in a Mithran temple with a lovely family of bunny folk and yes. are you okay, Miss Mirror? She is fucking gone. She from yeah. Huh. I walk next to a shot who smells of just cast fucking sex, and then Naya with her fucking prince armor all this time, and all the fucking that they've done. That makes sense. Deep, deep breath. Oh, hello, ladies. The very pregnant bunny will peek her head out. What y'all do to Mira? She okay? She got her groove back. She's just great. What does that mean? Uh... Everything that was wrong with her downstairs works perfectly. The pregnant bunny will look on, stupefied, before the redhead will lean in, whisper something, point to her own crotch. Prego bunny will go kind of stock. Eyes open. Oh, that's what. Oh, oh, poor thing. Well, no more. I she is guess so. Back to normal. Redhead will nod and say, "Yeah, Mira's been saving up for as long as I've known her to get one of those coven stone potions." This time, sorry, Coven Stones, for stealing a sail. <laughs> well. Well, that's your own fault for pressing it so high. Why would it press it so high? <laughs> uh, Mira said it's because reagents are hard to come by or something. I don't know. Basically. Anyway, I don't know if she said thank you, but. On behalf of all of her friends here, thank you. It's been a wait on her forever. Oh, thank this one. Hey, I hey, put hey, both hands her. underneath her and scoop her up, but I got the one, so I will point. She points at Saracena. Yeah. yeah. Saracena will say hi. you all good at meet your mom. History. Meet your meet your entire race's mom. What? Saracena will just squat down next to the baby bump and just put her head on on tummy. Close eyes. Mm. Ah, Saracena reborn. She's back. So. I don't know who that is, but if you're a powerful wizard or something, I'm glad to have you around. Oh, no, she's 
uh, the primordial yes, of earth and fertility. What? It's probably something to not just like spread by word of mouth and little dips and dots and dabs in the first place thinking about it. We can't afford to do the spiel every single time. But, you know. Yeah, yeah okay. can play for a card. Yeah, we should actually do business cards instead. I think she went to go and get some new pants. And depending on how close that friend is, she's probably going to take her right back upstairs again. Mira will give the redhead a hug from behind and then scoot out. He is now just wearing like a long skirt. I uh, thank you, adventurers. That uh, I still don't have words for anything. Um, Sarasin, if you need the worshippers, you have one here. Goddess will just smile and give her one pat on the head. I don't need worshippers. No. I like them, of course, but you don't owe me anything. Believe me. It is my absolute pleasure. Meryl will just shake her head and sigh. Well, you have one anyway, I suppose. Uh, some point, someone Find me a Bible of Seracina, uh, as for the rest of you. Uh, I... Sorry, I'm still struggling for words. It's a little overwhelming. That's okay. Take your time. I, um... Would like to go and speak to my mother, uh, if that is alright. Of course. If you like, we can return... We could. Can come back tomorrow. Yes, that and that would be good. Give me time to think on this Minoth thing. Sure. Do they, um, do you have books or anything? I know my letters. Books for Saracena? Or Minoth, I don't all I know is what the oh. Emperor said. This is old dead kingdom in the ground. I'd be surprised if there wasn't. Hey. This guy's walk around with a library. Yeah, uh, I remember because uh, I shot on the great Minotha library and then she got one of the books, which was the history of Dal Minotha and the Minothan Empire. Oh, and an adorable map. Ah, yes, that we got that in Igneferus, the child map of the world dominoes and everything before the collapse of the Igneferus community, where there's the, um, I don't care, what's the fucking name, the uh, spooky magic cow in the head. Valera? Well, yes, where Valera was trapped in that magical ceiling circle while she was meditating, remember? Well, I don't have and I don't exactly carry a library with me. There is currently an expedition to the city of Dalmanotha, where they are collecting the archives there. And I have requested that they hand over to me any historical or cultural artifacts or tomes. Like, and so significant cultural or historical value? Yeah. They got to keep all the magic. Yeah, I shot. 
Yeah, her shot was really good that the deal you know, she went with uh, Duke of Andalan there. She got all that cool stuff going there and was like a really big expedition of course. And then she got the whole all the she had that all set up in like a day. It was like precision work she did. So yeah, there's there's a lot available if you want to see that. We're gonna go there in a while. Because yeah, we got a little bit of stuff to do. Oh, double nice. Yeah, what a shame you guys aren't carrying any of those books with you. Well, there's a genealogy in here. Yeah, I do have that. I do carry that with me. Uh, oh, and you've got something on the Minotha language. Yeah. I can only read the cover, though. I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, I can only read the cover, though. It's like it's in Dragon. Oh, yes, it is in Draconic. The book on the language in Intercan Draconic. It was for dragons to learn how to speak Minotan. Oh, sweet. You got a book from Archelon autographed. Yeah. Oh, 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 be careful with that. That's first edition and sign. Yeah, that's insane. It's got an autograph in it. Archelon the Sword Sage? Yeah. Yes. Very same. Uh, yeah. Uh, Cass's sister over there, the planet Cass, went to go train with Archelon, actually. His cousin. Cousin, sorry. Damn. Yeah. I read about him as a child. He was kind of a hero. <laughs> All right. I have a few of his books. got to see his upper. Yeah, heroic yeah. elvish deeds. That's a nice one. <laughs> Wait, uh, there's another Minotan there. book in here. What is this? Love poems? Uh, yes, a book of questionable love poems written by one of the chancellors. Well, Ashaka has a spar with both Archelon and his apprentice. I did not fight is, Archelon. Uh, it was to, you know, bloody, remember, on the island there? I don't it was you, that. Naya. It was you, Naya, Tarnavac, uh, Sooth, and me. We all took a shot at it. Mm. Well, anyway. I don't care. What was the name of the the apprentice, the uh, uh, Brian Lord, the Brian Knight? I don't think you ever learned his actual name. We did because I did ask about who he was, so I could write down on the well, the stone. Did there. you write it the fuck down? I'll let me go check chat. His name was Terrence. Because I sure as shit don't remember his Father name. The black. Uh, from the Black uh, Sand War. Oh, you mean fucking Skeletor. Yeah. yeah! Oh, yeah. I also don't remember his name, but you can, you can just say you say his name and Mira will know who that is. Not yeah, I just mentioned, yeah, uh, the apprentice, blah, 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 of the, of the cities of the great uh, Black Sand Wars. You adventurers meet incredible people <laughs> and earn incredible money and, I guess, find lost princesses after all. Oh, gee, your old story, Buck. I guess so. 
Cass just like fist pump. Yes. Called it. Yeah. I've had it out. All right. Um, I'm going to go f- find mom. Uh, if you'll yeah. excuse me. Sure. We'll be by yeah, sometime tomorrow. Mm-hmm. All right. I will, uh, we'll see you then. Have a pie. Head down to the docks. <laughs> goes <laughs> she just made 400 gold and she doesn't have to save up for a regeneration potion it's time for her christmas blow baby i mean 300 but it's still a lot it's still a lot oh, i just paid her 400 sorry 40 gold even and you gave her 10 before so she's got 350 gold to go get unbelievably laid with yeah, so she had 200 saved up, so after you guys just strutted in, she was only 50 GP away. <laughs> oh, well. Imagine if you had come here for the storyline before having gotten Saracena. Very, very different set of events here. Yeah. Because yeah. Mira's been a character I've, I've had as is for like a year and a half now. Although, to be fair, if before Saracena still had, we still had access to a regen ring, so I guess we'd be like, nah, here. Yeah. And you only got that, Come like, here. just before That's Saracena. That's true, quite recently. Like... Yeah, just before her, yeah. I suppose that would really be pushing the line of that. But it, it would have just been another thing we have to do, like, oh, we've got the ring. All right, we, we'll be right back. we just got to go give a bunny a nut. I and fucking bunny would have probably come with you. Like, bring your generation. Holy shit. Sign me on to that quest. Oh, yeah. That's what we like to have. Yeah. He did not ask, but she is also an Earth sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course she is. I take it that would be why the Prekers one was like, that would explain some of the spellcasty stuff. Yeah, as you like chat with these two for a while, they'll mention uh, Mira was a a eldritch knight in the Arunan army during the war. After the emperor died, she knows uh, huh. quite a bit hmm. of battle magic. I see. Pretty cool. It's good. She's got ancient lineages of ancient earth magic ass kickers running through her veins. So I'm not strictly surprised. Uh, sure. Yeah, plenty of motivation to use it. Glad you were able to help her. Before our time, but she did well under a Duna's banner all through the war, as far as we know. I'll plant the flag in Aaron City, so we're told. I'm sure she had plenty of frustration to work off. Yeah, you better believe it. This is a, a very nice all's well that ends well. Yeah. I hope nothing comes along and fucks this moment up. And then I wait and I look up at the sky and I double check and then I... As you're saying <laughs> that, relief. the pregnant girl will suddenly just like grunt in pain and halfway double over. Oh no. Sarah's just goes, oh, yes! come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? She's like, I win! <laughs> I get to hear her bunny birth, <laughs> yes! Bunny birth! As, yeah, the, uh, the shopkeeper's water just breaks on the spot. And that uh, sounds like well... a perfectly good place to end it, because I think next you're pretty much going to the dinner, right? Yep. Alright. Ideally, Merz will be here for that. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. That'd be really fucking awkward if not. Oh well. It would be. It's fine, we'll just a uh, weekend of Bernie's turn around. <laughs> Han gets nervous, accidentally drinks too much and passes out, and then we just have to give him glasses that make it look like he's got open eyes and parrot him around. Up at Tarnavak. Yep. Uh please, I've got a flawless Tarnavak impression and we all know it. It helps be the other British person, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean <laughs> Yeah. 
Here you go. New friend out. Hey, Yay! Friend. I like friends. Friend. What was it like? This day was definitely an everything comes up Saracena. Yes. She got to put a dick on the ancient Minothan bloodline. Well, put balls on And it anyway. do a bunny birth. Sorry, but, uh, balls. Yeah. Saracena's having a, bunny a good bunny. fucking day. As for you guys, mission 158. Good lord. It's a, <laughs> it's a chonker. It's a thicken. That was just all in one day, too. Alright. So, did you explore an interesting location for the first time? Yes. You went to several places in Illyria. Yay! Such a pretty city. It is. I love it this is place. Nice. Especially, it's like overly extra architecture. Yeah, and how you fucking sniped it from me unknowingst. It was in my, my, it's even <laughs> called the Assyrian people. It was even in the Assyrian thing instead of Illyrian. Like, fucking this is crumble. The irony of it being Illyrian versus Assyrian too. Yeah, as well. Oh, so it was very much a penny drop moment when seeing this. <laughs> and I was just a combination of in or surprised and irritated. <laughs> At least I sniped you back with the tavern. Uh, it's okay. The tavern I ended up with was pretty good, too. Okay. Uh, did you discover an interesting truth about the world? Uh... Hmm. Um... I don't know. Does the, does the restored heir of... Uh... Yeah, you found out about the fucking know, last heir of Minotha. I know. Did you make a new ally? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Extremely yeah. yes. Very yes. Very, very yes. It's just an another bunny for Koinu to be nervously flirting around. Just add to waifu stable. It's okay, to be fair, there's there's kind of a line for, like, muscle bunny. That's true. Whew. Alright, did you advance or complete a quest? Yes, you have finally, like, effectively completed Find Minotha Air Quest. Now you just have to drag her back to meet Crush Yeah. Uh, did you discover a new page in a companion story? Yes, all of the mirror everything. Laurent Ra, the hero of the Black Sand Wars. There you go. Alright, so that's 5 XP, everybody. Good job. Whoa, dang it over. You did, ah. We, we, we did it? You did it. Oh my god, we did it! We did Let's it. see, did Tarn dig? No. Get dunked on, you Owned. stupid goblin. Get dunked. Get fucking goblin. <laughs> 602. Oh, I have to figure out. Okay. Do, do I put this plus two into my constitution or my charisma? Uh, I would suggest. That's actually what I'm considering too. I would suggest your charisma because when was the last time a shot actually went down? Uh, well, considering how yeah. close we are to the end of the game, I'm Just thinking more of an. Ago? I'm thinking more of an in in terms of. Long you want to term. make it to the finish line? <laughs> well, I it's know. more like does Sashat need the extra constitution to survive having to survive her yes. relationship? Listen, you are doing great. More charisma. <laughs> yeah, you really got that one on lock, I feel. I guess that's true. I mean, I hell, even, charisma. like, the kit, the kittens inside you, there are six of them, but they're kitten size, and you're a large-sized creature. They're just, they're just gonna fall out. <laughs> you, you don't I, have anything to worry about. Well, you maybe just think of the fucking joke about... No, no. no. Lose, I think. <laughs> Definitely well, I not. Mean, more like, so she doesn't just turn into a fucking raisin every day. Oh, well, 
Oh, just you suck mean your the own constitution titties. to survive Arda. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, open yeah. wide and squirt the super like soaker. A lot. It it is a lot, but luckily you have someone here to help lighten the load, or make it worse depending on how he's Please feeling for the day. Carry make the load. <laughs> I, he has sworn yes. to carry your loads. It's true. I feel like Cass would just make it worse, <laughs> and he would be like snickering the entire time. It depends on how you're doing. You know, if you're ever in danger of tucoming yourself, he'll help. But otherwise, he's going to sneak it in your back door all the time. Yeah. Look, it's fine. A shot just wakes up with slightly creamy thighs most mornings. Don't worry about it. You don't remember anything happened. You didn't feel anything. So clearly nothing happened. You just sweat a little life. Clearly through. nothing happened. Obviously. That's definitely it. A. Oh, Alright, well... If you're watching on the stream or YouTube, thanks for tuning in. We will see you on Thursday for Scowindy. Until then, adios, Ooh. and do take care. Make.